What's going on YouTube? Subum Saint bringing you another review this week and I'm surprising you guys this week. Yeah, caught you off guard, didn't I? Now, usually I upload on Sundays. I'm still going to do that, but today I just decided, you know, I'm just going to throw another video out there. I really need to put out more videos than what I'm putting out. That way I can keep you guys interested and keep on, yeah, yeah, y'all get the catch here. But anyways, Today we are going to look at the Cuboid 150 watt temp control by Joytech. Now this is a dual 18650 mod. 150 watts. Got the same VTC board as, you know, Evic VTC, VTC Mini, all that. It has TCR functions. It's fairly customizable, but it's not like the DNA 200. It is upgradable to 200 watts but they are not calling it a 200 watt device which i really really like because you know you can't get a true 200 watts out of the 18650 so why call it a 200 watt mod um that's the only thing that really gripes me about mods is they come out and they're, they're like you know we're 200 watts you know it's 200 no it's not no it's not now it's nothing like the rx or the Rulu DNA 200. It's nothing like that because you know they are true 200 watts. So you know I'm kind of glad that they didn't decide to call this a 200 watt device. They called it a 100, 150 watt. Um, anyways, guys, you know let me take a vape here and we're we're get down to the nitty and the gritty. Alright guys, I think it's that time to get down to the nitty and the gritty of this device. Alright guys, here we are with the packaging of the Cuboid 150 watt temp control by Joytech. Woo! But anyways, here you go. It is firmware upgradable, which is always nice. We love upgrading our devices. You got Joytech right here. Got what comes in the box. Let's open her up here. See what kind of goodies we get. Mod sits right in there. Nice and foamy. Here is your user manual, which is a very detailed manual. Very, very good. I really like it. Here is your warranty card. And your authenticity card uh, code thing here. Now, here's your USB cable. I probably got so many of these things laying around. But, there it is. Now, let's get to the nitty and the gritty. Let's get to the device. What do you guys say? Let's do that. Let me push this to the side. Here's your device. As you guys can see, the screen is a little scuffed. That's how it comes in the mail sometimes. I just... I guess the, the way or whatever the screen is made out of is kind of yeah gonna show some details like that um, let's see here this is a 42 millimeter wide device 91 and a half millimeters tall and 28 millimeters thick yeah yeah think about that here's your battery door which I really really like as you guys can see it's got a little switch a little bit of battery venting use this I gotta use gravity. I gotta use gravity. I don't have fingernails, so I have to use gravity. Bam! Batteries come out. Set these to the side. As you guys can see, it's marked positive and negative. Does run in series. Does have a reverse battery protection in case you put them in wrong. So that's always a plus. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let me go ahead and pop these batteries back in. You gotta make sure when you push the door you hear it click when you hear it click you're 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 in good shape you're in good shape so it does have a 510 pin it is a just or non-adjustable sorry spring loaded gold plated now <laughs> i do have gripes with this 510 pin they do not set it down low enough I was going to pull out my Kennedy 24, you know, because I really like my Kennedy. I was like, man, that would look really nice on there. 
So went to go screw it on. As you guys can see, gappage. I see some gappage. You see that gappage? That is some gappage. So I was pretty bummed out about that. You know, I'm pretty, I think I'm like OCD or something and I don't like seeing stuff like that. I really don't. It really disappoints me when I can't use like RDAs or drippers that I can't, I want to use. Now, if you got a RDA that doesn't have a really, really long protruding 510 or if you got one that's adjustable, then you should be good. But I have not had any problems with like tanks or anything like that really like sitting flush on it so can't complain with that one now let me walk you guys through this menu screen as you guys can see here you got your power your volts your coil resistance and your ampage pretty nice little feature right here it shows you the batteries your battery uh charge yeah your battery charge for each one all right three clicks will get you into the menu thing one, two, three. As you guys can see, it's flashing. Now you can switch through it by pushing the right one. NI200, titanium, stainless steel 316, TCR settings, and back to power. Now, if you want to go down here, well, I got to be in temp mode here. Okay, you want to lock your coil resistance. You have to scroll down here, click the left. And then you can adjust your power. Now, you can't go down. You can only go up. So once it gets to 150, round robins, and there you go. Set your power that you want. Then you push the left again, and you go down to your coil. Lock it with the right button, and then fire away. Now you can adjust your temp mode whenever you're normal. You can go up or down. So pretty nice. Pretty nice little button, clicky. I love the way the buttons are kind of, kind of blended in. Blend it. It's blended in. But anyways, left and power. Okay, when you want to go in stealth mode, hold the left button and the power button. Says it's in stealth. Not very stealth, eh? Do it again. Vice versa. Stealth off. Right button, fire button. Does nothing. <laughs> Anyways, wh what we want to do is we want to turn the device off. Make sure it's off. Now, to get into your TCR functions, or yeah, TCR, yeah. R hold the right button and the fire button. Gotta really hold it for quite some time. There you are. You're in your TCR settings. I don't mess with that, so yeah. Let me turn it back off. Hold the left button and the fire button. Now hold it for a little bit. And your battery voltage right there. So that's a pretty nice little feature. Yep. But anyways, guys, this does come in gray silver and black so i got gray because i think it looks a little bit elegant but anyways guys that is the up close and personal all right guys that was my nitty and the gritty of the cuboid 150 watt temp control by joytech i will leave a link in the description on where you can get one of these now my pros and my cons with this device i love the way it fits in my hand i mean if you got small hands like me i mean i'm I got really itty bitty paws, so you know, it fits pretty nice in the hand. It feels good. I think it looks good. Uh, I like the button. Nice and clicky. And see, I just went in. Y'all got me messing up, man. Come on now. Anyways, anyways. Um, I do like the little door here. I like the door. It's different than the magnetic door, so you know, anything that's different, I kind of really like. Um, now i love the menu system it's really really easy to navigate you know it's gonna t it takes you a little bit of getting used to just a little bit but i mean once you get used to it it's really quite easy uh let's see my cons here i would have to say would be the 510 if you guys 
as you guys seen in the close-ups, you know, I can screw on an RDA and the 510 does not sit down far enough. So, you know, I got that gap or spacing in between. I have not had that problems with any tanks. I, I usually generally run tanks in like at work environments or something just because, you know, I work in like a, a grind room in a plastic bottle factory. So I really don't want all that floating around on my cotton. Ugh. So I usually tank it at work, but you know, so this mod's been actually pretty good. I mean, I haven't dropped it or anything, so I can't tell you guys if it's that good. But it is solid. It's heavy. I really like that. Even with the batteries out, it's still a solid and heavy device. And I like that because it makes me feel like I got quality in my hand. And hey, man, who doesn't like quality? And for 50 bucks, you really can't go wrong with this device. I mean, it's really nice. It comes in black, gray, and I believe it's stainless steel. Uh, I believe. Uh I don't know. But anyways, if I'm wrong, I'll leave it a little thingy right here. But, you know, um, I ended up getting a gray just because, you know, it's, it's elegant looking and it really complements my green drip tip. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is your review for this. Well, not this week because I still got another one coming up on Sunday. So stay tuned. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys next time. And you guys keep it, keep on vaping out there. Just vape.